Join me to one of the most hidden gems in Vaughan, the Patterson Community. Located in the eastmost part of Vaughan, the community is often mistaken as part of the Richmond Hill due to the location just being at the border of both cities. But what makes Patterson so unique? In this episode, we'll show you around the beautiful Patterson community. Patterson's neighboring communities are Corncourt, Richville, and Maples. We'll take you on a tour at the neighbors highlight beautiful parks, recreation areas, and local landmarks. And you'll see why Patterson is a great place to live and raise your family with its diverse community, huge square footage houses, and excellent amenities. Most famous intersection in Patterson is Major Mackenzie and Bather Street. Remember, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting contents. So let's talk about the people. Patterson and Vaughan, with approximately 90,000 residentials with 27,000 households, Patterson is a very multicultural hub that boosts a unique blend of cultures and language. According to statistics, approximately there's 38% of the residentials here speaks English on a daily basis, while 10% are Italian descent, 7% are Russian descent, and 4% are Chinese descent. This cultural diverse is what makes Patterson such an interesting and exciting community to explore. One of the unique features of Patterson is absolutely the high percentage of house owners. With a ratio of 90% homeowners and 10% renters, this can have a huge impact of the overall community image. But Patterson is a large community, so not every part is equally attractive. One thing that stands out in Patterson is the pride that residential takes in their homes. The Italian and Russian communities in particular, they are known for their impressive front and backyards with the cost of landscape and gardening being quite significant. For these communities, their homes are their pride and joy, so they spare no expense in maintaining them. House price. Patterson, it's a beautiful community with a high middle class population. Did you know that most homes here actually are built in 2006 to 2010? With 65% detached homes, 30% townhouse, 30% condos, and 9% semi detached homes. And there's something for everybody in this sought after area. If you're in the market for a luxury home, Patterson just have plenty to offer. With five bedroom to four bedroom, four bath, and a double car garage or three car garage, the average price a cool $2.6 million. Mature two floor detached houses average 2,800 square feet, four bedroom, four bath, double car garage average around $2.05 million. Brand new luxury townhouse average 2,200 square feet, three bedroom, four bath, double car garage average around $1.4 million. Mature semi-detached average 2,000 square feet, three bedroom, three bath, single car garage average around $1.1 million. And of course, the price range in Patterson is actually quite wide and depends on the factors like square footage and interior finishes, but overall, Compared to nearby Markham, Richmond Hill, and Thornhill, these luxury homes in Patterson actually have a smaller lot. But that doesn't stop home buyers from falling in love with this vibrant neighborhood. And remember, the CLS three step process comment, like, and share. Keep you on track and discover more communities in the area and all the amazing real estate opportunities. Let's take a closer look at schools in Patterson. For elementary school students, Herbert H. Carge Public School is a great option. With the latest EQAO results, the school received a score of 76, thus indicating a good academic performance. For public high school students, 
Stephen Lewis Secondary School is a popular choice with a Frankster Institution ranking rank 84 out of 739 schools. You gotta listen to this. Patterson's special gem would be the excellent St. Teresa of Lenox Catholic High School. It is ranked 8th in the province and offering advanced placement and pre-AP programs, making it an ideal option for students who want to excel academically. In addition, all due to the fact that it's really attracting mid and high income earners coming into Patterson, the UMCA Rich Tree Academy, a private school, is also an attractive option for parents who prefer you know, a smaller class size and a more focused attention for teachers. In summary, there's actually plenty of good schools in Patterson to choose from. Parents that's selecting the best suited for their children, academic needs, and performance. But don't forget to go on York Regional School Zone to find your school. Transportation. Most families in Patterson really rely on their cars as their main mode of transportation, with an average of two and more cars per household. And getting around is easy, you know, with, with Highway 404 and 400 just 15 minutes away. And 407 Tool Highway, it's only five minutes away, so you can get to East and West End. By students here in Patterson, they're actually starting to have their own cars now and or driven by their parents. So the YRT bus service runs approximately every hour only. If you need to get around downtown for work, commuting, you can take the GO train station on Route 4 or Richmond Hill GO train station. Living style. Fawn Patterson is actually known for the quiet residential community. So don't expect parties or, you know, crazy restaurants around the neighborhood. But it is very close to our Canada's wonderland. It spans 330 acres of land, has over 200 rides, restaurants, shops, and performance venues, just making a very ideal destination for family, friends, or even visitors all year around. And there's, of course, Halloween parties, Winter's Wonderland, giving you a whole different vibe every season. If you're a child or an adult, Canada's Wonderland will just bring you so many unforgettable memories. Vaughn Mill Malls is the largest shopping mall center in Vaughn with over 250 stores, including Pro Bass Shops, uh, Nike, Cleveland Klein, Tommy Hilfiger. It's just all the most well-known brands will be here for you to shop from. Along with Young Street to the east of Patterson, there's actually many interesting unique shops for you to shop from. And if you want Chinese groceries, you can always visit the TNT supermarket at Weldrick and Young Street. And there's also Korean supermarket H Mart. If you're just looking for a local Canadian food supermarket, there are Longos. It is very convenient for self-driving residents. Of course, if you just want to walk around or dock walks, there's the North Maple Regional Park that is a perfect destination. It's a popular park with several bike and walking trails. Additionally, there's outdoor sport facilities like basketball court, volleyball courts, baseball fields, which is available for sports enthusiasms to use. You know, it's, it's really important for us to use city's facilities after paying so much in tax every year. If you're only preferring indoor community centers, you can go to a Swatch Resmin Centers. It provides swimming pool, indoor basketball court, workout area. It's just an awesome place for your kids to release their energy. In conclusion, Patterson is not so much convenient in transportation or like a party community, but that's why it's a perfect community to upgrade your family with a nice luxury detach and a neighborhood who has great standards about their home. You know, after work, as you're driving from home, you feel the community environment with status, friendliness, and welcoming, leaving all those work stress behind. This community guide recommends it and gives it a good 88 out of 100. My name is Kent, the community guide. If you like my videos, remember to smash CLS, comment, like, and share this video to friends and families. And of course, if you want me to buy, sell, or just look at houses, you can Facebook or Instagram me on my private page. And next time, let's community guide.